Hello, I'm Fauzia Ibrahim, and here are the latest stories from Al Jazeera. Pakistan's former president, Pervez Musharraf, has landed in Karachi, ending more than four years in self-imposed exile. He says he wants to run the next month's general election and is unfazed by a death threat from the Pakistani Taliban. Al Jazeera's Imran Khan has the latest. He has to do all of this coalition building if he's going to build his new party into a political force. That's unlikely at the moment. The sources that we've spoken into the, the uh, party, the big party here, the MQM, have said we're probably not going to make an alliance with Pervez Musharraf. They certainly haven't brought the kinds of people out on the streets that the MQM here could do in his support. Now, what I'm hearing from the airport, which is just uh, a few kilometers away from here, is there are only 300 people that have come out to greet him. He doesn't have the kind of political weight that's needed in Pakistani politics. The president of Cyprus is flying to Brussels to try to secure a last-ditch international bailout deal. The Mediterranean island is facing a Monday deadline or the EU will cut off emergency funding to its banks and the country's financial system. Seems sure to collapse. The president of the Central African Republic has reportedly fled the country as rebels seize the capital. The Seleka group has been battling government forces inside Bangui, and they say the president's failed to honor a peace deal. And you can find the latest on all those stories and more at aljazeera.com.